Okay, so here comes test, taste test number three of these tiger melons. So I showed you how they grow out there. We showed you another one um, that was ripe, but hadn't fallen off the vine yet. Uh, it was orange. We tested that one and it really, it was like a bland cantaloupe, it really wasn't sweet at all. Now we have this one that has ripened on the vine and fallen off the vine. So we're gonna do another taste test just to see if that makes a difference. I'm kind of doubtful it will, but we wanna, in our experiment here, we wanna be, rule out all the variables. Also, the other one that we tried was orange, but it didn't have these, these, variegated, these lines in it. I don't know that that's gonna make any difference, but I've got a few of them out there that uh, don't turn from green stripe to orange stripe. So possibly that makes a difference in the taste. I doubt it, but we'll see. Okay, so here's a banana melon too. We're gonna to try that one in another video. Let's put that one aside for now. Let's take that. Another maybe another good sign is it looks like it's it's oozing out some sugars. So it's a sticky right there. I don't know if you can see that shining, but so we'll see. Let's chop it in half. Same white color as the last time. It's like an apple. It smells about the same, like a cantaloupe that's not sweet. Let me take a few seeds out of here. slice and taste it it's about the same I don't know it might yeah because they might have a, a little bit of sweetness to it but not so much really it's just like a cantaloupe it's not sweet same texture okay so now we know right letting it ripen on the vine till it falls off <clears throat> That doesn't make it any sweeter. Let's try a couple more things. Let's try putting a little salt on it. See if that makes a difference. A little salt. It enhances the sweetness of it, but it is good actually with salt on it. Right. Let's try just putting a dash of sugar on it. It's just empty, so I ought to be able to get just about a dash out. Take another piece. A touch of sugar out of here. Sugar. The sugar's sweet. I think it's actually better with the salt. So anyway, I think that's the final verdict. These tiger melons are not sweet. They taste like cantaloupe, it's not sweet. They have the same texture. I think there's ways that you could use them. If you like unsweet cantaloupe, I think it's great. I think you could slice it up. I almost use it like a cucumber substitute. I can see it because it has that same kind of sort of neutral flavor profile, although it's a little on the cantaloupe side. I can see slicing this in a salad, uh, putting it in a fruit salad with other fruit, uh, sweet fruits like uh, strawberries or pineapple. Sometimes pineapple could be really sweet. This would be kind of a, a nice neutralizer to that. Uh, sometimes we make a little spiced meat dish and we put it in that the half of a, uh, an acorn squash. It might be good that way too. Anyway, if you're thinking about growing them, you see my other videos where they're, they're pretty out there. They're vigorous, but as far as a, a sweet melon, if you're looking for a sweet melon, tiger melon is probably not for you.